Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to create a CRUD operations in Next.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. <clears throat> in the previous video, we have already learned about how to connect the MongoDB and how to create the schema, right? So I will just figure out what exactly we have done in the last video. So basically we have connect to the MongoDB and MongoDB connection for that one. We have go for the app module.ts. Here we have include the Mongo's module. So you need to install this package, right? And here in the import section, you need to pass Mongo's model for root config Mongo URL. Here you need to pass the MongoDB URL. And here we have to pass the products module that we have to create uh, that is CRUD operation model right module right here all the things okay so let's see <coughs> the structure and all so here we have all the structure we have a config where we have the mongodb url then we have the next one that we have the products module where we have the CRUD operation for the products like add delete insert put update okay here okay in the app module.ts we have include the products module okay otherwise if we have to import that products module right so we have import the products module in the main.ts file we have include the app module right so whatever written in the app module it is automatically goes to the this main.ts file so it should be included over here products module whether to be a user entity so step by step we are going to use that part right so this is the app module.ts file here we have the configuration files because we are picking up the config.mongo URL from the config. So we have passed it over here. Otherwise, you can directly pass the MongoDB URL here also. Nothing to go with the configuration and all. Okay. Otherwise, you can take it from the process.env file also. Okay. So next we have a product fully where we have made the DTO. Okay. We have made the interface, then we have a schemas, then we have a controllers, modules, product service dot spec dot ts for the testing, <coughs> product service. Okay. So step by step, first we go with the create product. First we go with the schemas, right? So this is basically the schema that the fields in the database that is name, quantity, and the description. These three things for the table for the MongoDB. Next, we have the interface, basically that the, for the like ID should be in string, names should be string, description for the typecasting part, right? Interface we have created, right? Next, we have created the DTO, <coughs> that's the name should be string description and the quantity read only, right? Next, we have to go with the product controllers, modules and the service. So first of all, we have to go with the controllers, right? So here controllers we have getting in the get post put delete body and the param that is a next JS common core files, right? Then we have created the create product DTO <coughs> products interface. You can see that we have created the interface, right? That ID should be string name and all. So this is product product services. We have created all the services over here. So you can see that. So this is the logical service like uh, product dot model find one mongodb queries find execute okay new product dot save so find i find my id and remove right so these all are the functions that include in the mongoose right so here we have add all the model logic over here services that we have created right in the controllers what we have done <coughs> let's have a look on that we have a constructor <coughs> okay most of the similarity in that this look like the angular part i where i have just imagined of right so here we have export the class con uh, products controller and the controller is products right <coughs> so here first we have the get request at the rate get then find all okay then the promise product so here you can see that the product should be id name description and the quantity okay the product the interface in which the data should be shown right you can here you can see that id name quantity and the description okay <laughs> you can see that id name quantity and the description in in the format what we are supposed to be like okay so this product dot service 
find all so find all we have a service okay so what it does it this dot product model okay so where, what is our product model so here you can see that model product class so schemas right so here we have a product class constructor we have inject the model okay in the constructor product model model product class and here we have all the logic like um, find one find all or uh, find one find by id create and save you can see that this or these all are mongoose functions right to get the data fetch the data update the data and delete the data okay so these all are just single line queries for fetching data and uh, saving and all right so here we have all the services <clears throat> okay next we have this uh, these all are the services like get all find one okay here we re receive the id parameter then post so we have to create product dto so this is the format okay so in the post method what we have to do we have to create create pdo format right so let's check the create pdo what exactly name <clears throat> This is a format that we have to accept the arguments right name should be string description should be string quantity should be a number so that's the reason we have created the pdo dto okay so data transfer objects in which the data should be transferred and uh, it should be picking up to add that data right so this dot product dot service dot create we have already met create the method okay and the create this in this met form the data should be accepted okay so create method is here <coughs> so this dot product dot product here we are just getting the product format here you can see that we have already made the product that should be id name description of the quantity would be return right then new product dot save okay so let's <coughs> i think service part is clear product part is clear schema part is clear and the product module dot ts that we have already product modules it's where we have the products controller product service product class product schema okay so here we have to import that one also so in this you can see that the full product product section we have a product module where we have added the name product class dot name schema we are using what controllers which we are using providers which we are using okay and these things we have to be added in the product module dot ts file right okay so this is <clears throat> done so let's run the run and check each and every step by step that uh, whether to create update and fetch the data right so let's go to the postman also on the same open the terminal and here we have to add npm run start start right So this is done. So here you can see that the products controller we have added the products route, right? So a slash products get ID, and here you can see that where we have mentioned the routes part, right? Here you can see that. Okay. By default controllers that products. Okay. So let's make it like um, test products and see what the result of it. Test products, and if I go and save this and just running this one. So here you can see that the route would be test products, right? So routes we are defining at the top of it. Okay, so we have to, if if you want to change the route or something, that you can change it over here, right? So let's rebuild again. Okay, done. Go to the postman, and here we have the get requests, which we have. Uh, let's. Go with the first post request okay so i have i have already added some of the requests right here so let's add the test to product quantity would be 25 test product 7 <coughs> send it here you can see that we have get the record test 2 and test 3 this is the save record right create <coughs> if i go to the database mongo rogue mongo Connecting where we have a nest file, nest shares, collections, product classes, 
So here you can see that product class is what we have because we have made the product classes schema, right? So we have ID name, quantity and the description. You can see that, right? The data test two. Okay, the data is inserted. Next, make it the get request, then send this one. So we have all the three of the data. You can see that, right? The last one is the test one, okay? <clears throat> now we are going to update delete part, right? So let's have a look with the routes also. So here we have the routes. So products we have added, ID, get we have done, okay? If you want to get by ID, so you need to pass the ID over it, right? So this is also a get request. So go to this one and I want to pick any of the ID. Like suppose this one ID I want, just add here products and make it ID over here and then get it, okay? So you can see that. Find by ID, so that you can find by that. That's the view part, right? So next we have to go with the find all done, find one is also done, post is done, delete. I want to add the delete functionality. So delete what it, it is doing, product model, find ID and remove. So we need to pass, it accepts the ID as a string, right? So make it the request, delete and all x2 bit be deleted. Okay, so let's see in the database, let's make it the get request, okay? And let's see once one should be deleted over here. So here we have the get request and then send. Make it remove because this data is not there because that's why it's empty over here, right? So then send and here you can see that we have a two records, right? And let's do the updation part. So for the update, what the route it is, let's have a look on that. So we for the put, we have to use the put update right so let's check this one also so go to the postman and here we have to go with the put request and here we have the body so test 2 is there right so I'm going to update this with put it is accepting the ID yes so you need to pass the ID so I want to update the Rolex part over here so I'm going to add it over here this ID make it Rolex to be Rolex Okay, so let's try and save this. Okay, let's take get request and remove this one and send. You can see that Rolex is updated with the uh, Rolex part, which we have inputted, right? So you can see that we have successfully created a full CRUD operations with the Nest.js. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.